Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to give an introduction to Delta Lake in Databricks. What is Delta Lake? As per Databricks definition, Delta Lake is nothing but open format storage layer that delivers reliability, security and performance on your data lake. And also Delta Lake is single home for structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. And Delta Lake is extension of Data Lake. So in order to understand Delta Lake, it's important to understand Data Lake as well. Data Lake is nothing but alternate uh, solution approach for data warehousing concept. So it's important to understand the basics of data warehousing also. So in order to understand Delta Lake, we, we should know Data Lake and Data Warehouse. The difference between data warehouse, data lake and delta lake that is a big subject and I am not going to I am not going to do deep dive on the topic in this video because in this video the context is delta lake. So at high level we are going to see the difference between these components. First data warehouse. Data warehouse is one of the traditional and uh, highly used concept in most of the projects where we do analytical processing by storing huge amount of data. In data warehouse basically we are processing and also doing analytical operations of data. There are certain limitations with data warehousing solutions. There are uh, pros and also cons. For example, a data warehouse can accept only structured data and also it's, it's easier to perform any DML operation. These are the advantages. But coming to disadvantages, it can support only structured data. But in, in today's real time um, uh, projects, you know, we are handling different types of uh, data formats. It could be structured, semi-structured or unstructured. So data warehouse is lacking support for unstructured or semi-structured data. And also as per data warehousing architecture, I am talking about the traditional architecture. In the traditional architectures, you know, the uh, computing resources such as RAM, processor, uh, storage disk, network components, you know, these are tightly coupled to each other, which means we cannot increase one particular component linearly without increasing the other components. So basically scaling up and scaling down, that is also one of the biggest challenge, challenge with data warehouse. So we have to exponentially increase all the components, all the resourcing components in data warehouse. So that is the reason data lake came to picture. In the data lake, actually we can dump huge amount of data and it can accept any format. It could be structured, unstructured or it could be semi-structured. We can dump any kind of data. That is one thing. And also it is limitlessly scalable, which means you know, it can scale up or scale down at any time without uh, with minimal effort. And also it can support huge amount of data. There is no limitation in the storage. That is a huge advantage of data lake. So. These are the advantages of data lake, but the introduction of a data lake, you know, it has overcome few problems from the data warehouse. At the same time, it has introduced it, its own, you know, other problems. Other problems like data lake cannot support DML operations. It can provide only minimal support to the DML operations. Because data lake is nothing but a storage layer where we have stored the data in the raw format. So it's very difficult to scan and identify a particular record and making some DML operation on top of that. So it's one of the costliest operation. So data lake is not suitable for DML operation. That is, that is one of the uh, drawback with data lake. Another major problem with uh, data lake is, you know, when we are processing certain, uh, certain data, you know, let's say we are loading certain data or we are uh, doing some transformations in between the process got failed, then the process will leave the system in corrupted state. So that is also one of the major problem with data lake. So if uh, you consider data warehouse, we are uh, processing 100 records, there is some problem, you know, the entire process, entire record would be rolled back or the entire process would be uh, would be uncommitted. But coming to data lake, you know, partially we have done certain transformations and the process failed, then the process will leave the system as it is in the corrupted state. So that is another problem with the data lake. So using data warehouse or data lake, you know, both are having its own pros and cons. So that's the reason, you know, by, by combining the, the best advantages, you know, best, uh, uh, you know, best of uh, these two components, data lake came into picture. The introduction of data lake is nothing but you know combination of best features from data lake and delta uh, uh, sorry data warehouse and data lake. 
so in the data lake uh, basically you know uh, it can uh, it can act like a data lake which means in you know, it can accept uh, structured semi structured or un unstructured data at the same time you know easily we can scale up and scale down and coming to data warehousing features you know it can support uh, acid transactions very easily and also if uh, there is some uh, process failure it will not leave the system corrupted these are the advantages of delta lake that's the reason delta lake came into existence i hope you understood the difference between these three components i have summarized here the same data warehouse it can support only structured data coming to data lake it can support structured semi structured or unstructured coming to delta lake it can support structured semi structured unstructured and also streaming data in today's big data world mostly we are processing live data that is called streaming data in most of the uh, business uh, use cases we need to combine batch and streaming data together in order to update certain dashboard that is uh, uh, you know achievable using the concept of uh, lambda architecture but still you know that is not suitable that is not uh, high efficient with uh, data warehouse or data lake but coming to delta lake you know the streaming and batch data can be combined easily and it can uh, perform in a good manner coming to the second one schema on write in data warehouse uh, when data is inserted into the data warehouse the schema would be validated if there is any mismatch it would be the data would be discarded let's say we are having one uh, table it's containing employee id employee name and salary but the incoming record is having one extra field maybe date of joining then that record is not compatible with the schema so on write it would be discarded it would be uh, removed but coming to data lake or delta lake you know there is a concept of schema evaluation which means even though there is a mismatch with the schema still it would be accepted that is the advantage of data lake and delta lake and coming to the third comparison point data warehouse supports acid transaction acid uh, stands for atomic consistency isolated and durable at high level you can understand this is nothing but dml operations so data warehouse can support dml operation but coming to data lake it's a poor support to acid transactions but delta lake it supports acid transactions and the fourth one if there is any failure if there is any error data warehouse would not leave the system in corrupted status but coming to data lake it leaves the system in corrupted state and coming to delta lake it's similar to data warehouse you know it will, it would not leave the system in corrupt status these are the high level differences between data warehouse data lake and delta lake now i hope you understood uh, you know why uh, these concepts came into picture now going back to the definition now you can understand this very easily delta lake is nothing but open format storage layer which means this is one of the uh, one of the you know storage format uh, one of the storage layer sitting on top of the data lake so basically data lake would contain the raw data in the form of uh, big data file formats it could be parquet csv anything but delta lake is sitting on top of the data lake it's another storage layer you know, that is managing Uh, uh, managing uh, metadata like information for example in data warehouse if you are having a table it would contain metadata like what is the name of the column what is the data type and you know some other statistics about the table what is the minimum value what is the maximum value it would contain metadata so the same thing you know the data lake would contain uh, the raw data but on top of that delta lake would uh, would uh, would uh, capture all the metadata related to the table so using that we can easily perform delta operations sorry dml operations i hope you understood and this is also single home for structured semi structured and unstructured data as i told earlier data warehouse can accept only structured data but delta lake can accept any uh, format of the data and also this is uh, delta lake is uh, foundation for cost effective highly scalable lake house as i told earlier this is uh, this is highly scalable coming to these properties now uh, delta lake that is reliability because it does not leave the system in corrupted state coming to security you know, we can uh, we can control the access to the users in the delta lake uh, similar to any data warehouse or database tables so that's the reason you know we can control the we can provide best security in delta lake and coming to performance as i told 
delta lake is nothing but you know one of the layer sitting on top of data lake you know it will contain all the metadata about the data so with the help of that metadata you know it can perform better i hope you understood what is delta lake hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and comment in the channel please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button thank you